Now we're going to simplify exponents with the same base by expanding again. But this time our example is going to have division. All right, here's our example. We got 8 to the 7th power divided by 8 to the 5th power. Okay, the same thing as 8 to the 7th over 8 to the 5th. All right, now that we have this, we're going to expand this expression. Remember, when we expand uh, a base and an exponent, it means we're taking our base, multiplying it by itself as many times as the exponent tells us. So in the numerator, remember that's the top of our fraction, we have 8 to the 7th power. That means we're going to have 8 times itself, and there's going to be 7 of those in the numerator. In the denominator, remember that's the bottom of our fraction, we have 8 to the 5th. So it's going to be 8 times itself, and there are going to be 5 of those in the bottom of our fraction. Now that we have this expanded, we can go ahead and cancel out 8. So we can take 1 8 from the top in the numerator and 1 8 from the denominator. And as a pair, they cancel out because it's like having 8 divided by 8. All right, and 8 divided by 8 is just 1. So we're canceling it out to be 1. All right, and we can continue to do that with each pair, 1 8 from the numerator, 1 8 from the denominator, until we run out of pairs, right? I'm left with just the two eights on top. So I count those up, and that's going to be my new exponent. So I'm left with this new expression, 8 to the second power, or 8 squared, because I have two remaining after canceling those out. That's going to be my answer for this one. Let's try another example. Here we have c to the ninth power divided by c to the eighth power. Again, we're going to expand this. Right? So we're going to take our c to the ninth power in the numerator, and multiply c by itself nine times. Then for the denominator, c to the eighth power, we'll multiply c by itself, and there'll be eight of those in the bottom. From here, we can cancel out. Again, we'll have c divided by c, which cancels out to be one. All right, and then we could continue to do that until we run out of c's where we have a matching pair from the numerator and a, another c on the denominator. So from here, we're left with just the 1c at the end. So we can write our expression again as c to the first power, right? We have just 1c left. All right, but, but we remember that c to the first power is the same as writing it as just c. Because if we wrote it as just c, remember with any variable or constant that we put just the number or just the letter, it has an invisible 1. So likewise, we can... We don't actually have to write that one in, and our answer would just be C for this one. That's how we can divide exponents with the same base by expanding. All we're doing is simplifying these expressions in this way.